I call this meeting of the Montgomery County School Board to order, 7.30, November 17th, 2014. My name is Joe Ivers. I will be serving as chair this evening as Wendell Jones is unable to attend. Would you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our next item is to adopt the agenda. May I have a motion to adopt the agenda? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? We have an agenda. <clears throat> Honors, awards, and recognitions. I now call Dr. Lois Graham to assist in the honors, awards, and recognitions. Good evening. Uh, at this time, I am delighted to share several awards and honors. And the first honor tonight goes to Gilbert Lincoln Elementary, and I would ask that Carol Kaler, the principal, and the staff members that are with her come forward. Gilbert Lincoln Elementary School has been named a 2014 National Blue Ribbon School. Only seven Virginia public and three private schools were named this year. Recognition as an exemplary, high-performing school affirms the hard work of Gilbert Lincoln Elementary School in helping students meet high standards and achieve excellence in academics. This award was presented to Gilbert Lincoln because the school is among the state's highest performing schools. Mrs. Blackburn and representatives from the school attended a recognition <laughs> ceremony in Washington, D.C on November the 11th. We would like to say congratulations to the Gilbert Lincoln staff, families, and students. And if there are any families and students present, please stand and be recognized as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> and at this, at this time, we would like to uh, share your award and the banner that you received. Congratulations, Gilbert Lincoln. Quite a special honor. Another very special highlight of our board meeting is the recognition of a senior of the month from each of our four high schools. Photos and leadership profiles are displayed on the presentation board in the lobby. Our presentation format provides a snapshot of each senior and a quote from their administrator or teacher who nominated them for this recognition. recognition. Now it's my pleasure to present first Brian Kitts, principal of Blacksburg High School, and then he will be followed by Dr. Kevin Sears, principal of Christiansburg High School, and then by Danny Knott, principal of Eastern Montgomery High School. Auburn could not attend tonight, and I see this is not Brian Kitts. Right, <laughs> Mary Payne. One in school. <laughs> Assistant <laughs> principal, thank you, Mary. Um, I'd like to introduce Jordan Vines, she is the company. <laughs> she is accompanied tonight by her father, Randy Vines, her mother, Chrissy Vines, um, her grandparents, uh, John and Mary Jean Vines. <laughs> Brown, come on forward. <laughs> So 
Superintendent Blackburn and members of the school board, it is certainly my honor and privilege tonight um, to present to you Blacksburg High School Senior of the Month for November, Jordan Vines. Jordan is an excellent example of an exemplary student who serves as a leader in our school and is active in our community. She is a driven, responsible, and kind to every one person. She, is, she spends countless hours of giving back to our school and our community, and that makes her our Senior of the Month. We are proud to have her represent us, and congratulations. Ms. Blackburn, Dr. Graham, members of the board, good evening. It is with great pride that I introduce to you Christiansburg High School's November Senior of the Month, Riley Jane Blevins. She is accompanied this evening by her father, Clay, her mother, Cindy, and her sister, Ashen. Would you please come forward at this time to be recognized? Riley was selected as, as our Senior of the Month for her numerous contributions to our theater and music programs. During her time at CHS, she has appeared in nearly every dramatic and musical event sponsored by our school. She has proven to be generous in spirit and limitless in talent. Michaela Witten, the faculty sponsor of our thespian troupe, had the following to say about Riley. Riley is an incredible asset to the CHS theater program. She combines her outstanding natural talents with a strong respect for the craft and for the productions in which she is a part. Her performances are always polished and professional. However, Riley's skills are not limited to performance. She coaches her castmates in a mature, nurturing way. Riley will be a co-director for our December production of Charlotte's Web, and I'm so looking forward to the ideas and the guidance she brings to our rehearsals and shows. Mandy Townley, the CHS choral director, also has high praise for Riley, saying, Riley is the type of student who comes along once in a million years. She is courteous, mature, diligent, hardworking, and an absolute incredible performer. She can also transform easily from a polished professional performer to a high school kid helping to lighten a day with well-timed well comedy. <laughs> she is incredible to work with and has forced me to become a better teacher. All of CHS is proud to count Riley as one of her own and have no doubt that she is destined for stardom. In fact, you all may want to go ahead and get her autographed during the break because it won't be easy, so easy to obtain once the Oscars and Tonys start rolling in. <laughs> Ms. Blackburn, Mr. Ivers, members of the board, it is with great pride that I introduce to you tonight Easter Montgomery High School's November Senior of the Month, Do Dakota Beth Shepard. She's accompanied tonight by her parents, Kim and Tommy Shepard, and her grandparents, Kathy and Wayne Taylor. If you would come forward, please. <laughs> Kira Donato, Easter Montgomery High School's English teacher and cross country coach had this to say about our November Senior of the Month. Dakota excels as a student, an athlete, and a community member. In the classroom, her work is deeply insightful and meticulously thorough. 
even when she completes it on the bus by the light of her cell phone <laughs> as she travels home from a late basketball or softball game. In cross country, she has shown such dedication and leadership that she was chosen as captain both her junior and senior years. Her positive, encouraging attitude has inspired and engaged and encouraged her teammates. She has also worked selflessly to help others in her community. For example, this past fall, Dakota hosted a charity race, a 5K run, to benefit wounded soldiers. This event not only honored our veterans in our community, but also raised over $8,000. It has been an honor to coach and teach Dakota and the underclassmen who have seen her example and been inspired by it will carry on her good work once she graduates. Congratulations, Dakota. Every year, Montgomery County Public Schools has the opportunity to recognize local businesses through the Virginia School Boards Association Business Honor Roll. Every school was asked to nominate a business partner of the year, and almost every business partner nominated is here with us tonight. These partnerships represent a broad spectrum, showcasing the many ways that local businesses and organizations support the mission of Montgomery County Public Schools. <clears throat> it's our pleasure to honor them tonight. I will begin by calling each school and their business partner and ask them to come up. Auburn Elementary School and Life Touch is their business partner. Would you come forward? Auburn High School and Pilot Mountain Grocery. My, my business partner is here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Auburn Middle School and Sheeler Motor Mile. Bellevue Elementary School, Bellevue United Methodist Church, and Belmont Christian Church <laughs> as a partnership. <laughs> Blacksburg High School and Sheeter Motor Mile again. Blacksburg Middle School and Duncan Automotive. Congratulations. 
Christiansburg Elementary School, New River Valley Pauls of Hope. Christiansburg High School, Crockett Home Improvement. Christiansburg Middle School, Hubble Lighting. Christiansburg Primary School, Montgomery Regional Solid Waste Authority. <clears throat> Eastern Montgomery Elementary School, Sheeler Motor Mile, again. <laughs> Eastern Montgomery High School. Charlesville Pharmacy. <laughs> Falling Branch Elementary School, Kiwanis Club of Christiansburg. Gilbert Linkus Elementary School, Blacksburg United Methodist Church. <laughs> Harding Avenue Elementary School, The Lyric. Kipps Elementary School, Life Touch. <clears throat> Margaret Beeks Elementary School, PKs and Top of the Attic. Prices Fork Elementary School, The Crow's Nest. <laughs> 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 
Using a panel of judges, we ranked all these business partner relationships in terms of school support, either through volunteers or financial support, support of the school mission and the vision, and how closely the partnership resembled an ideal school business partnership. Two organizations emerged as stellar examples of the types of partnerships that we want to see in all of our schools. The first winning partnership is Bellevue Elementary School and the team of Belmont Christian Church and Bellevue United Methodist Church. <laughs> and they do the backpack program, which is put on by these churches and provides food for over 70 Bellevue families each week. Ms. Grant, would you, uh, you will receive a, a reward for that later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Our second winning partnership is Gilbert Linkus and Blacksburg United Methodist Church. The church, provides, the church provides regular tutoring sessions for students who are less fortunate at Gilbert Linkus in addition to providing a positive presence at the school building. These two partnerships will be advanced for state recognition. They will receive an engraved plaque at a later date. We want to thank all of our business partnerships for the tremendous support that they provide in all of our schools. I should also mention that Meadowbrook, Meadowbrook Library was not here tonight, but they are the partner with Shawsville Middle School. Congratulations to all our partnerships, and we appreciate and thank you for all you do for our schools. Thank you. At this time, we will take a 10-minute break so that we may congratulate all our honors and awards. To address the board with issues pertaining to public education in Montgomery County. Each speaker is allotted three minutes to speak. The screens throughout the room and on the laptop will indicate when the speaker has 30 seconds remaining <clears throat> and when the three minutes have passed. And we have no speakers signed up. So is there anyone in the audience who wishes to address the board? Seeing no one, public address is closed. Consent items. Is there anything, is, if there's nothing in the, to be pulled from the consent agenda, <clears throat> we will consider the consent items approved. Is there any discussion regarding the consent agenda? Personnel report. Do I have a motion to adopt the uh, personnel report? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. <clears throat> Payment of the bills. Do I have a motion to uh, pay the bills? So move. Second. Any discussion on the bills? Uh, Mr. Chairman, in order to avoid a conflict of interest or even the appearance of impropriety, I will abstain from voting on the part of this action, check number 483830, involving the Cross Point Conference Center and or the Foursquare Church, and disclose my interest in accordance with the Virginia Conflict of Interest Act. I do, however, vote yes on the remaining aspects of the action. Thank you. I have a motion. I have a second. All those, any other discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Bills are paid. Financial summary report. Do I have a motion to, to acknowledge receipt of the financial summary report? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Moving on to uh, superintendents, reports, recommendations, and announcements. Thank you, Mr. Ivers. The board received information about the Youth Risk Behavior Survey at the November 4th meeting. It is presented this evening for action without revisions. You will recall that some of the board members indicated an interest in the addition of some questions. However, based on the current administration in several area school systems and the norms established only around the current question bank, I recommend administration approve this in its current format for this year. Additional questions may be developed for future administrations of the survey. Do I hear a motion? I make a motion that we accept. 
Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry, motion carried. <laughs> that, that would help, wouldn't it? The next item are new course codes for 2015-2016. The four courses before you are recommended additions to the course offerings for school year 15-16. You received preliminary information about the courses at your November 4th meeting. I recommend you approve these courses this evening. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Next item is our facilities update. And uh, Mr. Baronado and will again this evening uh, apprise the board of some of the current projects that are being hand handled through maintenance and facilities, as well as some uh, partnerships with some schools for community projects. Good evening. Uh, getting down to a short list right now. I'm sure it will grow soon. Uh, Shawsville Middle School Annex uh, demolition uh, completed. We were just about finished the last time I reported, and it's all complete, and the grass is growing. Not very much today, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's growing. Uh, New Auburn Middle School uh, move-in. That's our big focus right now, and that started yesterday. Hmm. And new furniture started yesterday morning at 8 a.m. And we got a little more furniture than we expected, and it'll go through this week and Monday. Then there's a little hiatus uh, until December 1st, and then go f December 1st through 15th. And we'll move uh, uh, some of the bulk of the boxes from the existing middle school that the teachers are packing on December 1st, and then the rest after school gets out, December 22nd and 23rd. And then we'll also start the full move out of that school so we can get it ready for demolition. We'll work the 22nd, 23rd, 29th, and 30th of December, uh, and also probably January 2nd. They're all work days for 12-month uh, employees. And the two roof projects uh, were actually uh, completing the design on those, the Shaws of Middle School roof over the chorus area, and at Gilbert Linkus, the roof over the central area, very similar to what we did at uh, Margaret Beaks last year. We're going to get those out uh, to bid uh, probably in, in January, so we get early in the roofers' uh, programs for the summer. Uh, I have five updates. Uh, the third one down on the PTA booster and other projects, uh, one that's been going on for quite a while. Uh, we've had some false starts, but we have a great completion on the rubberized track at Blacksburg. Uh, the track coach, uh, James DeMarco, wrote me an email last week. He said they just love it. It came out perfect, uh, just like they hoped, and they're very, very happy with it. And if you get to see it, it's a, it's a beautiful track. I wish we could. Uh, do them everywhere, but uh, they did a good job, and uh, we're very happy uh, with that. I would note a couple f ones further down the Harding Avenue. A question Avenue. on the on the track. Did you say previously that it can, it's six lanes? Six lanes, yes, sir. It, can it be extended, expanded yes. to eight lanes? It was graded, and the ground under uh, was graded out so two extra lanes could be added at some point. So you would have to do the asphalt and uh, then add the rubber to that. But it is graded uh, and pre-planned and pre-built for two extra lanes. It's, it's a beautiful track, there's no doubt about it, but it's, in, in essence, if you go beyond dual meets or maybe local type competition, it's useless because it needs to be an eight lane track. If we're, gonna, if we're gonna utilize the track and utilize it properly, and I know that the school system can't do anything or much about that, but I'm hoping the boosters are listening. Uh, and how much money did the boosters invest in that already? I think in the rubber tracks somewhere in the range, 
a hundred and thirty thousand yeah. dollars. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, my point is, is that eventually it should go to an eight lane, and then we can start utilizing it for state competition. Safe routes to school trail. Uh, the bid's actually completed uh, last week. Uh, there's an apparent low bidder, and the town got the funding from VDOT through the federal government, and they actually are, the town's going to VDOT for a little bit more money. Uh, I guess the low bid was higher than uh, the estimate, but they have uh, high hopes for that uh, to begin this spring and finish uh, by the end of the summer at Harding Avenue. Uh, down further, about three quarters of the way down, the Blacksburg High School tennis courts. Uh, we haven't uh, done the paved path yet, but the trees for the windbreak, you may have seen that in the newspaper, <laughs> Rotary Club of Blacksburg uh, funded, and actually a lot of the members did that uh, a few weekends ago, and the tree break, trees for windbreak is complete. Uh, Two have been started at Auburn High School. Uh, one is a, an additional ticket booth at the entrance, and the ticket booth uh, has been purchased by the boosters, and they're waiting for it to be uh, completed, built, and then it'll be moved in. Also, they are putting a decorative A on the bank at, near the stadium entrance with uh, uh, shrubbery, <laughs> and that's in process. And finally, the one at the bottom is a new one. We actually don't have the uh, request yet, uh, but Auburn Elementary School PTA, they want to put in some new playground equipment, and they have all of their uh, pre-planning done, and we expect that uh, this week, the actual request form. Uh, disposition of former school properties. We have just a couple updates. Uh, former Blacksburg Middle School property. Uh, you may have read this as well. The county uh, was able to work out a termination agreement with Medea on the front six acres. And the town council did discuss uh, the letter that uh, Mr. Brown sent them to resume meeting. They discussed that at their November 4th meeting, and they plan to uh, meet this at the staff level uh, in the weeks ahead. And the former Prices Fork Elementary School, uh, that one also has something since last month, and that's the county's continuing to work with the developer and get funding uh, that is available possibly from VDOT to do some road work there along Prices Fork Road to help that development. And those are the two. Of course, uh, in the small print there, there are actually five projects we're uh, tracking s still. Uh, besides those two, Old Blacksburg High School, Shawsville Elementary, and the school board office at Junkin Street, there's no updates on those. And that's it. Any questions? Uh, just a quick question. I think you've already said this to us, but demolition of the old or the current uh, middle school will begin immediately once we're moved in, in at Auburn? Right. We. Once we move in, then we have to move out. <laughs> yeah. So yes, it'll very soon after the new year. Okay, and no, not really weather well, it, restrictive it, or? The first part is not really, the first part is uh, asbestos removal. Right. And they basically do that in the building. Okay. And they get that done. At, at, I don't know exactly how long they're planning to take. Uh, at this point, they're still uh, finalizing that. That took, I think, three weeks at at Shawsville Middle School Annex, uh, okay. three or four weeks. Okay. Between getting it all out and then getting the tests back, and then they could uh, go gangbusters on the demolition. And you're right, the winter is a tough time to do demolition. Right. The cold and wet and okay. snow, but they're, they're, they're planning on getting right on it. Okay. And I think that's a good segue for Curtis. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. And our next one, Capital Projects Update, we have tonight Curtis Ellswick from Skanska who will be doing the presentation. We're getting up to the finish line. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Good evening. If you haven't marked your calendars, do so for the 25th of <laughs> January for the dedication. So I guess we've alluded to this, but I'd 
first off, I want to congratulate you on your new middle school. It's shiny and new, and it's out there in, in Reiner and mm-hmm. off of Route 8, and I, I know there's been tours to see it, but um, um, th- that's the good news. The bad news is you got to fill it up with furniture and books and <laughs> stuff to get ready for classes to start in January. So, mm-hmm. uh, Got some pictures to show. This is uh, at the bus loop in the front of the school as you're driving down Route 8, what you see. Mm. Um, it was a sunny day. It's kind of a hard picture to look at, but you can see the old high school, the historical part of the school on the left, and then the new entrance to the middle school on the on the right there. With all everything paved and striped and ready for people to park. On the back side of the school, this is the rear uh, of the school. Um, it shows you the multi-purpose fields. This was about a week ago. It uh, looks a little bit different now, um, but. This shows the, the multi-purpose fields in the back and um, some of the, you know, the rear side of the school and what that looks like. A couple of pictures, the one on your left is the uh, new uh, basketball court, the outdoor basketball court behind the school. Um, and if you look straight out, you would have the multi-purpose fields would be out from that, looking south. And then there's a picture of the greenhouse, which is attached to the CTE wing of the school. Left is the uh, nurse's station or a treatment room we call it <laughs> if you get the cooties that's where you go <laughs> um and then on the right is the science lab where you i guess they test cooties so <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a really nice science lab this is your shiny new refinished oh, nice. uh, gym uh they resanded the floor and it's got new poly on it new paint and looks really nice looks like a brand new gym mm-hmm. of course and then on the right is your auditorium with new uh, seating in there and if you go by there today you can see that carpet is being worked into that area as well how large is the auditorium how, how many does it seat uh <laughs> i haven't thought about that in so long i have to go back and look <laughs> I, I can't I'm remember if Dan might know off the top of his head but did I we're kind, our brains are kind of tired right now from yeah, trying to I finish hear, do, do i record do i 600 i I don't think that. I don't think it's quite that I don't many because there's not enough room for that. Four. I'll get back to you. It seems like when I was in high school, it was about 350 was I the max. 400 something. Maybe. Oh, yeah. is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember. Um, some of this has already been talked about, um, so you stole some of my thunder. But <laughs> good news is we got a temporary certificate of occupancy on Friday right before 5 o'clock, which uh, gave the Montgomery County authorization to move furniture in Monday morning as Dan said and trucks have been showing up and everything's going smooth yeah. uh, like he said that boxes and stuff will start moving over in a couple phases in December mm-hmm. and then uh, demolition will begin in January and uh, as Dan said you know we'll have the abatement and then the demo and then they'll restore the site and uh, we think hopefully if the weather permits they should be hopefully done by about March that's what we're shooting for so that is my update Question. Any questions? Any punch list items? I'm sure you guys are working on things. How, how is all that progress coming? It, it's just started. We okay. punched the entire building, and so now we've got a list of everything, and the contractor's working it off. So it'll take – they have 90 calendar days to do that, so it'll, right. it'll take a little while to get through that. Right. But the idea is get them out of the building before students show up in January. Right. Very so, good. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks, Curtis. We Thank appreciate you, it. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Is there any unfinished business by school board members? I have one, if you oh. all don't. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, at the last meeting, I said that I would take a look at how we ran the budget forum that we did at CHS two years ago. And the operating procedures were that each speaker had two minutes, and the board set a three hour time limit or until the last person who had signed up was heard. So in other words, you, you wouldn't take people from the audience after the list had been completed, but you would uh, hear all that had been heard. I would suggest your consideration of something comparable to that for the uh, one on school start times. The, when we did the budget one, we put, ran an ad in the paper and, and basically said what the rules were so that people could prepare in advance and Mm -hmm. that would be our plan this time to make it very public what the operating procedures would be 
and an opportunity to sign up well in advance through the public information office. Do we have to make an action to make that decision or is that just something we can decide? I think we can just decide it. And okay. And it, it wasn't an action item before. We just publicized okay. them. Well, how far in advance do we have to publicize it? It would be nice to have it pretty soon because the survey on school start times will go out, will be posted and available for people to respond to starting the week after Thanksgiving. Okay. And so it would be good if we could get this information out about that time as well so that people uh, would know what the, the plan is for that forum. Okay. I think that sounds like a good plan. One thing I was wondering if we could add to the information that goes out, just other times that the public can speak on this topic, other school board members' meetings in January, because mm -hmm. I was thinking about that the last meeting, mentioning that that date for that hearing is just, I don't know, we, we all, there's no good time in December and January, but that's the week of semester exams and all kinds of holiday things. And um, I just, I think it may be a, a a hard night for a lot of people so if we just make it known other times that they can also speak during public comment we can do that and also we do plan after the meeting on tomorrow uh, thursday night the next meeting is thursday night we will also be posting all the research and additional information that has been provided to the committee members mm -hmm. so that the general public can have access to it as well how many meetings have we had so far one. Just one. Mm -hmm. okay. It was the 6th, and then this one is the 20th, and then there's another one for early in December. Okay. Any other unfinished business? I'm sorry. I didn't hear. Was there a consent? Are we deciding with three-hour limit or till um, everybody signed up spoke? We have to make a decision on that. Yeah. What is your feeling? Do you want to set the hour limit, or we can wait till everybody speaks? That's Did you say it was an either time. or? It was three hours it or? Was, it was an either or. Yeah, That's was fine. Three hours or until everyone who had signed right. up right. had an opportunity Previously. to speak. Yeah. But right. then you Previously. wouldn't call for additional speakers if right. you hit yeah. your. I, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as we get a little closer, perhaps we could have some discussion at the next meeting about what time you would want to start that. Uh, <laughs> we could maybe started at 7 or 6 30 since it's mm -hmm. not a regular meeting depending on the the wishes of the board mm -hmm. I think that's a good cookies idea. and hot chocolate served mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's such a busy night I would be in favor even at 6 because some people might try to come to that and then go to the band concert that's night I mean there's a lot of stuff going on that evening on. study for their semester exam and go to that or <laughs> well. So I'll put a meeting time discussion on your December 2nd agenda for you to talk about it and make a decision. And make a decision on the time, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. 6 o'clock not, does not work well for me during the time. Okay. I'll put it on your agenda to set the time meeting. Mm -hmm. meeting. Okay. Okay. Are we locked into that day? I hope. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think trying to find another one would be yeah. better. Any other, any other comments or questions on that? Any other unfinished business? Any new business? Announcements and information? Blacksburg High School College Day was a success this morning. Mm -hmm. I enjoy seeing kids signing up. It was good. And congratulations to the mm -hmm. two schools that won at the talent show yeah. over the weekend, mm -hmm. Blacksburg High School and Christiansburg High School. They mm -hmm. both are getting lots of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And talk about talent. Yeah. There was so much talent in the room on Saturday evening. It was mm -hmm. really a tribute to the great kids and teachers that we have. Mm -hmm. Any other announcements, information? Upcoming school board meetings, as you can see, December 2nd and December 16th is the school start time forum, and then January 6th is the organizational meeting, and professional development dates. Do I have a motion for adjournment? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? We're adjourned. <laughs>